Hi there. Welcome to InvestNext, a single workspace to manage the entire life cycle of your real estate syndication. From raising capital to complex waterfall distributions, we've got you covered, all while delivering an institution-grade experience to your investors. In this video, we're going to go over some of the getting started basics, including setting up your admin profile, email integration, and inviting additional team members. So let's get right into it. You should have received an email from InvestNext to create your admin profile. So here mine is. You'll click on, click here to register your account. And this tab will open up. So I'm going to make my username Alamohan underscore trading. And I'll make my password. There we go. And you do see it does recommend your password strength. And it does have to be a minimum of eight characters. So I'll click on register account. Perfect. So now I've fully registered in for invest next. So now here we have a, a message from our CEO, Kevin, uh, welcome us to invest next and just giving us a disclaimer of four important things to remember when getting started. A contact is any person that you want to track and manage your relationship with. An account is a legal entity that is associated to a contact that is used when investing. So for example, you may have a contact and the question is, how do they invest? And that is their account. They may invest as an individual, a joint account, LLC, IRA, a 401k, or a trust. Depending on which way they invest, they could possibly have multiple accounts. A project is any syndication or fund and where you will manage operations such as running distributions and managing the cap table for your of your investors. A capital raise unlocks InvestNext powerful fundraising functionality and is connected to a project. So that would be used when you're looking to invest into a new project and you're looking to get commitment from your investors. So this is just a quick note from our CEO, Kevin, um, just outlining some of the basics. So next one here, projects. A project can be property, fund, or any other type of investment that you might be managing or for or fundraising for. You can track the list of investors and capital partners involved in this project as well as drill, drill down to each one of their positions. And that's projects. For contacts, managing relationships, with a purpose-built CRM, InvestNext is as much about relationship management as it is about investment management. Accounts, this is the investor accounts. And as I mentioned previously, one contact may have multiple investing accounts. So you can have a complete view of each of your investors associated investment entities and a single ledger on which to track and report all of their transactions. Communications. This is sending personalized mass emails, published blog posts and updates, as well as capture and qualify leads from your website. Fundraising, manage your entire capital raising process from your pipeline of prospective investors showcasing your public offering pages and streamlining the entire commitment and investing process. If you have any questions, you definitely couldn't hit our question mark right here. And we will be able to go, you would be able to find a few of our articles for walkthroughs. This icon right here is a global settings, which you can access at any time throughout the portal. So first we're gonna set up our admin profile. One thing I will like to note, once you have logged into InvestNext, you will be prompted to enter your billing details. And then once you enter your billing details, you would go through the exact same product tour that Kevin just provided us. Next, we're gonna do our admin profile here. So click on this little icon right over here and you can click profile. And this is gonna bring up our admin profile. So full name, I'll put mine in right here. If you wanted to ever change your username, it's going to be right here or your email as it's associated right here. And depending on your time zone, I'm in the East, uh, you may change it to, let's say you're in Hawaii. You could change it to Hawaii. And the next password, if you ever need to change your password for whatever reason, all you have to do is come here, type in your password and put in your new password down here. 
uh, reminder that it does have to be eight characters long. Next, we're gonna go through email integration. So you are actually able to connect, let's say your Gmail, for instance, with Investnext, so you can flawlessly send emails to your customers, to your investors, and have that done within the portal. So if I were to click here, connect my email account, and I type in alan at investnextdemo.co, it's gonna prompt, prompt me to select my email provider. So you could select one of these, and then you would be able to connect your email. I'm just going to go back as I won't be connecting my email for this portal. And next is 2FA. Currently, I do not have 2FA enabled. So we can enable that and you can use a Microsoft Authenticator or Google Authenticator app. Please download this to your phone. And this is how you'll be able to enable 2FA. So I'm going to scan the QR code with my phone right now. So I've scanned the QR code and now I've added it to my Google Authenticator app. So I'll add in, put in my code right here. And I've verified my account. So now I have two factor authentication enabled for my account. If you would like to disable it, you can just click right here and you'll be able to disable two factor authentic authentication. Next, we're gonna go into the settings right here. And this is where we're able to select some email notifications. So you can have a run through, read these through and decide what you'd like to receive email notifications on for your account. Next, we're going to go into the global wheel icon settings and complete our company profile here. So for here, I've got investnext training as my name and for the company profile, and I'll put in investnext.com address. I am a big fan of vanilla ice cream. 59 vanilla way. I'm based out in Toronto, Ontario. And you'll be able to put in your zip code. So I'm actually going to select Canada here. And then I'll be able, you can add your phone number or website right here. And let's click save changes. Once you've saved the changes, we're going to go over to billing. So this is where you would have seen where you would have entered your billing. If you need to change your card or add a card, you would be able to do so right here. And then next, we're gonna invite users. So currently, I'm the only user here. So we have two levels for users. One is admin, which gives you all of the abilities and no restrictions at all. And second is a new user. So if you were to select, invite a new user, so I were to say, Alan, nextdemo.co, and grant access. This is going to send out an invite to the user and you would be able to set permissions for this user by clicking set permissions right here. And I'll be able to select for this individual what options I would like them to have. So they should be able to create companies, view accounts, um, view brokers, send an email, and that's all I would like them to do. And then I'll click save permissions. And at any time, you can just click back here. Here we are back in the user administration panel. So we're actually able to view the user logs, deactivate the user, and set or change permissions as we need to. Um, so that wraps up the training video for just getting started. We'll see you in the next training one.